we're going to look at importing the custom titles we've saved in PowerDirector 7 into PowerDirector 8. We'll also look at importing other parts that we've customized and saved and bring those in and how it's done. Okay, go into My Documents Cyberlink and open it up and you will see a number of folders here, directories here. Uh, we're going to be concerned with just two directories, PowerDirector and Custom Menus. The custom menus is where all the previous DVD menus are retained. We're going to look first of all in PowerDirector. Double click on that and open it up. The contents of folders 7 and 8 interest us here. Open up 7 and My Picture in Picture, My Titles and My Paths. We select My Paths, the contents is copied. Open up folder 8's My Paths, then just Paste the custom My Paths into the folder. Take a look at the custom paths. All very straightforward. Job done. Back into 7, My Titles. Not all are needed. Highlight the ones you want to copy. There's no need for title B, K. Copy into 8, My Titles and paste. Two ways to check the titles. One is to open the folder and look at the image inside. The other is to rename the outside and that will be good enough. The reason is you don't want them mixed up with titles you save later. Rename them PD7 in this instance. OK, it's picture in pictures turn now. Open up the folder, look at all the contents. Decide which you want to copy and paste and place in the 8 folder. Check them out, have a look and see what they are. Open the folder up. Look at the images inside. Pretty straightforward. Now go for a copy and paste. So we copy the contents, then we bring them into 8 and paste it. And there we are, we've brought them all in, the ones we wanted. Easy as that. Here we have the, the default menus for PowerDirector 8, plus 2 from the Director Zone, a really good source of menus. Let's open up the custom menus now and have a quick look and see what's there. We have three folders in, in this case, and we're interested in 2.5 and 3.0, because 3.0 custom menus are PowerDirector 8s. OK, we open up uh, 8 to have a look, and we, you can see we've only got one menu in there. Let's go into 2.5 now and open that up, and there's a whole load of them. Right. Now, the funny thing is, you don't need to do anything with these custom menus because PowerDirector 8 calls upon the custom menus in 2.5 and they're all in here already because of that. So there's nothing you need to do. PowerDirector 8 has done it for you already. 